Hello, my name is Haley and I've come here today to reveal to you a great truth. A truth filled with sorrow, yet nonetheless needs to be told. Now be warned, this video is not for the faint of heart, so if you are terribly squeamish, please refrain from continuing on. Now with that out of the way, please enjoy our documentary on Clark Danbury, the ghost of Avon Lake High School. It all began a month ago in our TV productions class. We were experiencing day to day life just as usual. Stone, perfect, cheers. Stone, perfect, cheers. Stone, perfect, cheers. Melt steel beams. Stone, perfect, cheers. Jet fuel can't melt steel beams. Stone, perfect, cheers. Stone, perfect, cheers. Stone, perfect, cheers. Stone, perfect, cheers. Until our teacher gave us an assignment that would change our lives forever. Sit down! Your new project is a documentary video of some sort. Oh. Oh my God. Shut up! I'll forget all about the grievances you caused me with your last project if you do a decent job on this one. But no leaving when you're needed, no shirts covered in blood, and for heaven's sakes, keep your pants on. <laughs> so what are we gonna do? How about we do a documentary on my world domination? Do you plan on taking over the world tomorrow? Well, no, no I don't. Then let's not do that. What's about ducks? I don't think we have any ducks. There's me. What? Guys, I told you already. On all levels except physical, I am a duck. Maybe we should remember that one for later and save it for another video. Whack. <laughs> I heard about a ghost that haunts the school. Yeah, I've heard about that too. Clark Danbury? Huh? Apparently that's the name of the ghost. I'm looking at my phone right now. Haunted locations and legends of Lorraine County. How weird. The ghost of a former custodian named Clark Danbury, who has suffered a terrible death in the early 1900s, is said to haunt the school. His ghost has been seen in the auditorium where loud banging noises are heard and mysterious lights are seen. The custodian is said to continue his work beyond the grave. So then this is legit. Guys, are we all thinking what I'm thinking? Quack? Ghost hunting project! Yes! Woo! Yes! Woo! Yes! And thus it began, our continuous search for the elusive ghost of Clark Danbury. We searched high and we searched low. Eventually we got to talking with the head honcho of the school. Well, second head honcho anyway. Okay, one of the three second head honchos. Anyway, we got an interview with Mr. Vassal. Hey Mr. Vassal. Can you tell us a little bit about Clark Danbury? Clark who? The, the janitor from the 1970s that died and haunts the school. Can you tell us about him? I don't know. He continues what his is about him? Duties from beyond the grave. Do you apparently. know anything about him? No, this is all news to me. Oh, well he from died. 1970, you realize I was born in 72. How would I possibly know this man? <laughs> well, you know you work here. Well, I don't know if yeah, you've heard any rumors through the staff. Yeah, it makes any? me omnipotent and I should know everything. Do you know any rumors? Back, mostly. Do you have any papers documenting Clark Danbury? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know so probably sorry. more than I do. He haunts Danbury Lane. Oh, it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie Street, actually. <laughs> and then again, about a week later. Is this recording? Christy, how do you yep. feel? <laughs> I have a camera, idiot. Mr. Vassal. How do you do me? Yes, What do you know about Clark Danbury? Okay, I know. Your are questions before, but you're I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hold on. Let's go outside and do this. Let's go outside and do this. Because you guys are apparently deaf. It's about Clark Danbury. What's the truth? What do you know? What's the truth? I got nothing. I got nothing. I don't even know who this person Why is. Why are you? Like, <laughs> sure. Did you kill Clark Danbury? 
Yeah, when I was one. <laughs> Do, yeah, as an infant. That's taped evidence. Do you know about a, a janitor who died in the school? No, I didn't even know that until you guys brought it up to me. What was it, two weeks ago, three weeks ago? Yeah. I didn't even know that happened. <laughs> In sure. Denial. He's, in denial. He's in denial. He's in you denial. Are, you need to talk to someone who's old. Thank you. Who's the oldest? <laughs> Mr. LeBlanc. Who's the oldest? Mr. Mr. LeBlanc. He hasn't been here that long. You gotta find somebody. He's like, he's like, Thank you for your time. And that's a lot. We should have known. Of course, Vassal was a crafty one, and if word broke out that the school was haunted, it would be bad publicity for him. So, of course, he would lie about his knowledge. But luckily, we knew someone who cared more for the truth. What do you know about Clark Danbury? What don't I know about Clark Danbury? Are you claiming that you know something? Maybe. And what would that be? I can't tell. Please? He lives. He lives. What a cryptic message. We needed to get to the bottom of this. We did find a teacher who had some information, but unfortunately he refused to be filmed. He claimed that there was a janitor who worked for the school and had committed suicide. The rest of our time was spent searching near and far, but we finally found someone who had paranormal experiences. Huh? Clark Danbury, do you know who that is? I did not. He continues his janitorial duties from beyond the grave. Pardon? He continues his janitorial duties from beyond the grave. Clark Danbury? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it like a ghost janitor? Yeah. yeah. I have not heard. I'll keep my ears open, my eyes. Thank you. Let us know. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, not that guy. This guy. Have you had any paranormal experiences in the school lately? Yes. And where were they primarily? In the pack. What happened in the pack? <laughs> well, all of a sudden I was backstage during drama club and I heard some noises. And I looked around and I was the only one there. And then I heard a whisper. What did, I don't know who it was. What was the whisper? What did it say? I couldn't make out what it was saying. What did the noises sound like? Um, big bangs. Have you heard of Clark Danbury? <laughs> no. They say that he is a janitor who died in 1972 and continues his janitorial duties from beyond the grave. <laughs> oh, well, maybe that's him. You're playing with your fingers. Does this make you nervous? Yes, Do you recall me. memories? It makes me think of all the times I've been there alone, and I hear this. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Thank you. <laughs> so it was confirmed. Something paranormal was going on here. Within the next few days, we got some of the most valuable information we would receive throughout the entire investigation. Who haunts the school? This school? That, yes, this school. He continues his janitorial work from beyond the grave. Yes, we went out on a date last weekend. Oh. He took me to dinner. Where can we find him? Where did he take you to dinner? He took me to Olive Garden because I love Italian food. Breadsticks? And he paid. Oh. Oh. Yeah. With a coupon. Oh. And I had dessert. What a smart Clark, not where, so bad of a guy. Where can we find him? <laughs> I could tell you, but... We, we just want to have a chat. With Clark? Yes. I'll see what I can do. I'll have my people call your people. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> so we now know that Clark is a gentleman. But wait, if Clark goes out with Mrs. Saputa to Olive Garden, does that mean that he really continues his janitorial duties from beyond the grave? Is Avon Lake High School really haunted? Continue his work from beyond the grave. That explains the random noises I always hear coming up through the floor when I'm, out. I'm standing out in the hall between classes. Do you? <laughs> At what time of day do you hear these? I generally hear it more in the afternoon than the morning. I think, I'm pretty sure he. I'm pretty sure he died in the afternoon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is there anything else you, you might be able to tell I us? I usually hear moaning over? and groaning and high pitched squealing coming in the afternoon hours. So. R rattling of buckets. Lots of sounds. Yes. Lots of chains of lots of mixing. Wait, what? Floor cleaning liquids. Definitely. Yes. Usually there's a smell of Clorox that's coming up. As it sounds well. like Clark Danbury. Yeah. It does. It sounds just like it. Case is closed. Well, thank you for your time, <laughs> sir. I got it. Thusly, it became apparent that the spirit of Mr. Danbury only continues his janitorial duties during the afternoons and early evenings. Finally, there was one last bit of information to uncover. <coughs> hey guys, come over here and look what we found. Hi. 
I'm Dan Basu here at Avon Lake High School. And on this very catwalk, a janitor, Clark Danbury, fell to his death in the early 1900s. He's still here haunting the pack. And what is this? It's a video made from some students from this class from years ago. I guess we're not the only ones interested in Clark Danbury. Apparently, all these students are gone now. No, oh, this is too creepy. Oh, hang on, this is the most interesting part. This is Clark Danbury's seat. Number 13, that's awfully suspicious. So supposedly, even during a concert, Dan, you could feel the cool breeze if you sit here and feel his presence. And you said the... So this confirms everything. Clark does operate in the performing arts, just as we suspected. So now we have to go. And one of us has to sit in that seat. <laughs> I'll do it. I mean, if anything bad is going to happen, I'd rather have it happen to me than any of you guys. So let's head to the back. Clark, you in there? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're in the. Um, Wait, oh. light on. Wait, we're in the pack. Press the light. Which one? Light. Oh. We're in the pack right now. Um, there's nobody hey, in here actually. It's hey, pitch black. The best way to do this is to just provoke our dander. Oh. Clark, where are you at? We're gonna sit in this favorite seat. Okay. By the way, that's the favorite seat. All right, I'm kind of scared to jump off this. Just gotta jump. According to legend. I'm sorry, Jackson, what'd you say? Say it a little bit louder. According to legends, if you sit in this favorite seat, you should be able to feel something. I'm not really, I don't really remember what you Jackson, should be Jackson, are you afraid but... of being possessed by Clark right now? No. Stairs. Clark's favorite stairs. There's our film room. But if one of us was possessed by Clark Danbury, just hypothetically, let's have a plan. It's not coming with it right yet, but... Who's gonna sit in it? I will. Here we go. This is the big moment. We're sitting in Clark's favorite chair. It's seat. Okay. <gasps> seat. Thirteen. Yes. Seat thirteen. All right. Jackson, how do you feel? Are you ready? I'm ready. Do you have chills? Uh, oh, I have so many chills. Okay. What we have to do now is I'm gonna sit down. Let's just be quiet and wait okay, okay. for a response. I'm ready. <sighs> how do you feel? <gasps> do you hear that? What is it? Let's just talk. No. Hello, Clark. My name Do you have a message for him? is Jack. Do you hear is that? <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> Okay, go ahead. So you're ruining the whole <laughs> communication <laughs> thing. I hear it. If you freak out every time he <laughs> if you freak out every time he tries to communicate, it's gonna go poorly. <gasps> I'm actually scared. Legit, I'm gonna cry. Stop, Clark. I'm just trying to record a video. Is there any message that you have for us? Chris, you're young guy. What's he doing? Chris. I, I feel him. I feel his energy everywhere. It's all around me. It's like... <gasps> what? Yeah, oh my god, wait, wait, wait. Jackson. Jackson, Jackson buddy. Come on, wait here. Hey, buddy, buddy, You're hey. Gonna be okay. Jackson. Hey, what's up, dude? Jackson, you okay? Come on, you got to with us. We're going to get in trouble. We got to go. This isn't good. Wait, what happened? Jackson? His eyes are moving. <laughs> A lot, actually. I'm worried about him, guys. There's your Clark's up there. Clark? Is that you, Clark? Mr. Danbury. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, Clark, you hurt our friend. Yeah, Come back. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd he go? He just disappeared. I think it'd be easier if we split up and look for him. Oh, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Guys, did you find anything? I don't hear anything. Ah! <laughs> Guys, I think we should get out of here. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Madison, where'd you come from? Maddie. Run! Wait! Someone grab the camera! Let's go to the back room. We will be safer there. Where is he? Where's Jackson? Guys, I'm gonna go check it out. PJ, don't. <laughs> Please be safe. No, actually, don't. It's probably not safe. Who's in there? Guys, what are we gonna do? Okay, just calm down. <laughs> oh my gosh. You have no chance, beauty mortals. I've sealed all the exits. You have no choice but to cower before. Halt, foul creature! <laughs> Stay back, foul woman! The power of Christ compels you! Ah! I am one with this fool! You cannot you. destroy me! explain. Before I came here, I was an exorcist. I came to the school disguised as a TV productions teacher so that I could find and destroy the spirit of Clark Danbury. But the other teachers started to become suspicious, especially Mr. Vassal. So I decided to assign you guys this documentary, a ghost hunting project, and I knew that you would find him for me. So what do we do now? Well, all the higher-ups in the school have been hiding the secret for too long. And as a result, too many students have disappeared. You must finish this project. And so we did. And that was that. We mourn the losses of our classmates, Mitch, PJ, Aaron, Maddie, and of course, the foxiest man alive, Jackson, of whom which this video was dedicated to. Rest in peace, buddy. Why do our clothes keep changing the entire time, and why do I have a beard now? Because ghostly stuff.
Well, even though half your classmates are dead, you all got an A. Whoa.